Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. It's been a little bit of a busy season for us here lately, and I'm sure that that is true for most people right now. But that means that my food choices, while they have been all keto and um, low carb friendly and you know even carnivore friendly at times, I've been eating kind of like a jerk and just kind of going off the rails and just eating piles of cheese and tons of pepperoni. Um, you know, it's just not been amazing for me. Oh, bummer, I lost a little bit of egg there, but it's gonna be okay. I kind of wanted to simplify my food choices and get, get away from having to think about food for a little bit. So I decided that I would just go ahead and do a few days of egg fasting. I don't do egg fasts all the time, but I do love them as a tool to make food fatigue go away. I no longer have to think about what I'm gonna eat. I know it's gonna be eggs. I know it's gonna be fat. And I know that I'm gonna drink coffee. Always got the coffee going. Um, and it just sort of will simplify my choices for the next few days um, as we carry on. It will get boring. There will be buckets of scrambled eggs and that's okay by me. I love scrambled eggs. I need a plate here. Um, and the other thing that this will do is sort of alleviate the fact that I've been kind of eating like things just don't matter <laughs> and things do matter. And so I've been just, you know, not, I've not been my optimal self is really, really what that boils down to. So I'm going to be eating eggs. I have four scrambled eggs right here. I cooked those in about a half tablespoon of butter. I think I'm going to add another half tablespoon on top. And then I'm gonna get some homemade mayonnaise. And I am feeling like some Cholula today. Okay, a little bit of homemade mayonnaise. I've been making this for years. A little bit of Cholula for some lovely heat and flavor. And I've been practicing not salting my eggs whenever I first get them in the skillet to try to keep them from getting tough, I guess, but I do use Redmond real salt. I'm gonna go eat these four eggs, and I'm gonna say right now, this is not true egg fast macros. For four eggs, I should have four tablespoons or two ounces of butter, but I have one tablespoon of butter, or not butter, but fat in general. So I have a tablespoon of butter here, I have about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. I should probably snag a, we're gonna do this the right way, okay. All right, we're doing it right, need a fork. So with the butter that I cooked in, the butter that I've added, and then the tablespoon or so of mayonnaise that I added, I should be hitting that appropriate number of four tablespoons of fat, four, four eggs, and then, um, I'm gonna go finish this black coffee and then I need to start drinking some water for real because one of the best things you can do on an egg fast is stay hydrated. Um, I will be using flavored electrolytes because I love the salty electrolytes. They are so tasty. Okay, time to eat.
For my next meal, I have a cheese omelet. This is four eggs that I scrambled up to cook as an omelet. I weighed out a precise one ounce of shredded cheese. I do like to shred my own. I added about a tablespoon and a half of my mayonnaise, a couple of extra tablespoons of butter on the side to have about four tablespoons total of fat so that I have that one tablespoon of fat per egg ratio going on there. And Cholula, this one is just, uh, I, I'm in a Cholula kick right now. Sometimes it's Sriracha, but right now it is Cholula. This also is a staple for me when I do an egg fast. It just imparts so much delicious flavor. I did use my real salt, but I put that away already. And then I've got a raspberry bubbly to drink. We have some evening activities today and I'm going to take with me a little sort of egg fast friendly eggnog. In order to do that I've got two eggs that I'm going to put into my blender and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of my butter. I'm going to get some hot water. I've got 12 ounces of hot water. I'm going to turn on my blender and start that on a low speed and then drizzle in that hot water. This will help cook those eggs and turn this super frothy. Once that's well incorporated, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, maybe a pinch or two, and then I also am going to add a little bit of nutmeg just for that eggnoggy flavor. Blend those back up, and then once that's really well incorporated, I'm going to transfer it to a travel mug. It's a little bit more than what my travel mug here can hold, so I've got a little extra that I'm gonna drink in a coffee cup right before we leave, but two more eggs and two more tablespoons of fat to go. Here is my final meal for today. Four eggs scrambled up in a half tablespoon of butter. I added three and a half tablespoons of cold butter on top. It's really, really delicious to just like get a little piece of the butter along with the warm eggs. Super good. I added one ounce of shredded Colby Jack cheese. I did weigh that out. And then I um, added Cholula. You know, it's just kind of a Cholula day today. And then here I've just been refilling my water tumbler here with water. I've had the one salty packet and then this is my second container of just plain water. So that once I finish it will be three full containers of water. Good morning, day two of my egg fast reset, and it is beyond stormy outside, so the lighting looks a little dark in here. Um, I was awoken to the sound of rain pelting against the glass, which was so fun. Um, the tiniest of humans was awoken to a loud crack of thunder and lightning situation. I do think that the storm is supposed to stop at some point, um, and it'll get lighter here in a little bit, but here we are. All right, today I intend on adding a little bit of variety into the egg fast food options. I haven't quite sorted all those things out yet, but I'm positive that anything I choose, I have already shown here on my channel at some point or another. Um... And yeah, I mean, I tend to eat a lot of egg fast friendly, egg fast friendly foods um, just because it's real food. And to be honest with you, I could probably never get tired of scrambled eggs. But for the sake of editing Lindsay and anybody out there who gets bored with watching the same repeat meal um, for, you know, however many minutes straight, I... I'm, I'm doing it for future Lindsay. That's who I'm doing this for. I'm doing it for you. So <laughs> we're going to try not to bore ourselves to tears today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some breakfast started and show that to you when it's ready. Here's today's breakfast. I have an egg custard. I used four eggs in this custard. I also added in two tablespoons of MCT oil into the mixture before I put it through the instant pot. 
but it kind of separated on me. So there's a little bit of that uh, MCT oil on here. I added two tablespoons of butter, which is also what you see melting on top. That's what is giving my one tablespoon of fat for every egg ratio. I did add a splash of some vanilla extract, and I also used some real salt, a couple pinches of that, and my camera is struggling to focus. I feel that deeply in my soul. I also have black coffee that I'm sipping on. I have a video here showing you the process that I use to make egg custard um, on my channel, so I will be sure to link that in the description box below if you wanna see that process. So true now And there I was With my world falling apart Open just to your thighs Without knowing it I played it by heart And now I see Lunch today is four hard-boiled eggs that I fried up in a tiny bit of butter. Not enough to actually make a dent in the one tablespoon per egg ratio, so I went ahead and added about a half tablespoon of my homemade mayonnaise per egg half to make approximately four tablespoons of homemade mayonnaise for my four hard-boiled eggs. I have a little bit of sriracha on each one, and to drink, I'm gonna drink some of this Just Bubbly flavor. This is technically unflavored sparkling water. I really do love just straight up unflavored bubbly water. It's, it's very satisfying on the palate. Okay, I'm gonna go eat that. Third meal for today, dinner. I have four eggs that I turned into an omelet. I put some of my sriracha and also some shredded cheese. That was an ounce that I had shredded. Um, topped it with about two tablespoons of my homemade mayonnaise and added two tablespoons of butter on the side to make sure that I had my ratios correct. And then in here I do have some salty uh, this is Mondo Melon, but that is going to be my third meal for today. It's day three of my egg fast reset. Things are going pretty well thus far. I enjoyed all of the things that I ate yesterday. That egg custard, that one is really good and it actually fills me up way better than just like um, scrambled eggs or a cheese omelet. The trade-off there is it takes a lot longer to pull together than the uh, scrambled eggs. So, you know, everything has a trade-off. Sometimes it's your time and sometimes it's your satiety, but here we are. <laughs> okay, we've got the black coffee going. I am pretty hungry this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a faster meal, just do some scrambled eggs, and um, I might go ahead and try to set up the egg custard to do it for lunch today. That way it kinda holds me over. Uh, yesterday, the egg custard held me from 8 a.m. until, I wanna say it was almost two, and now that's not within the parameters of an egg fast. You really wanna be eating within five hours according to a variety of different like rules on the egg fasting situations. But I, I was full 
and I was busy. And so it wasn't really like a huge concern for me. Um, and that's where that whole, like that custard, man, it just does great things. And all you're doing is adding water to it. I didn't add cream or milk or anything to it, you know, like almond milk or anything. It was just pure water, just eggs, water, vanilla, salt, brilliant. I also think that whenever you make that, if you don't over blend it, it will have fewer bubbles on top and the density of the custard. Oh, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Scrambled eggs time. First meal for today is my four scrambled eggs. I cooked these in a little bit of butter, like a very small amount of butter. I added on a couple tablespoons of my homemade mayonnaise. Obviously I flavored it with some Cholula and I've also got about two tablespoons, maybe a touch less here on my plate that I will eat alongside it. I've got just plain water here in my tumbler, but at some point I will need to make a, um, some electrolytes. But for now, we're gonna eat this. Today's lunch is fried hard boiled eggs. I thought I was gonna make an egg custard, but I decided I wanted to do that for my third meal for today. So I'm gonna have these fried hard boiled eggs, four hard boiled eggs split in half, fried in a tiny bit of butter, and then I put about a half tablespoon of that homemade mayonnaise on each one, totaling up to four tablespoons of mayonnaise, making sure that I've got my ratios accurate. And then I topped each one with a little bit of some sriracha. Um, yes, sriracha. And then I have a raspberry bubbly on the side. last meal for today. Here's that egg custard. Look at these fun little bubbles that sort of happened. I don't know. I don't exactly know what happened there, but it's fine. Um, okay. So I opted not to put any fat in the actual custard base because last time it just separated anyway. So, you know, I figured why waste the time and effort and add even more air bubbles to the center of this thing. So four eggs, equal volume of water, dash of vanilla, pinch of salt, and then I put four tablespoons of butter on top that is already melting. And I'm gonna have more water. I'm not having any electrolytes just yet. I do think I want hot electrolytes this evening as kind of a, a pre-bedtime, just warm beverage. So, all right, last meal for today. Well, we're home now. Um, you didn't know we left, but we had an evening activity and it is so rainy. The past few days have just been nuts with the weather. So weird. Um, okay. So I have some hot, um, chocolatey electrolytes right here and I did not actually use Coco Loco or any of that stuff because I'm out. Um, I need to order some more. Instead I used the salty clean slate cause I have several packets of this clean slate and I don't usually care to consume this on its own. I also don't really like think to add it on top of food as I'm cooking or anything like that. So what I did was take a salty clean slate, knocked it into my coffee mug here. And then I took about a quarter teaspoon of this cocoa powder. Um, 
and about three drops of some liquid monk fruit. And then hot water on top, whizzed it up with my little coffee frother. And that is like my favorite way to use the unflavored clean slate packets. Because like I said, I just don't think to use them for cooking, although they would make a great option for the cooking situation. So this is gonna be the last thing that I've got going on for me for today, uh, day three on the egg fast reset. With today being my last day of my three day egg fast, I will not be do following a full egg fast tomorrow, but I will be coming back from the egg fast to my more typical keto lifestyle very slowly. If you're using an egg fast to sort of kickstart weight loss again or try to overcome a plateau or a stall or something like that, you will definitely find that you lose weight. When you go back to your original way of eating, like whether it's just like keto or if it's more um, meat-based with a few vegetables here and there, you will find that your body holds on to more water in that, in that move over to what you were doing before. So it, it can feel a little discouraging if weight loss is truly your focus. When you stop doing an egg fast, you can stair step your way back to whatever lifestyle that you were having before to sort of help mitigate some of that water retention. So the first day off an egg fast, you may have two meals that are egg fast friendly and one meal that's carnivore. Um, the next day have one egg fast friendly food meal and then have two carnivore meals. And then the following day, just straight carnivore and then slowly start to add back in your low carb veggies if you do want those. Um, I love cabbage so very much, especially like super fried, like to the point where it's charred, shredded cabbage. It's my favorite. I love it so very much, but I can get pretty heavy handed with those serving sizes. And while cabbage is extremely low carb, it's not zero carb by any stretch. So, um, I'll be, uh, probably taking a couple days to sort of like revert back to my regular old keto lifestyle and just being a lot more mindful of the cheese and the pepperoni and the pecans, which are really my trouble foods. And I have said that for years, for years and years. And it's funny how the things that you struggle with in the beginning typically are things that you struggle with at, at you know, the midpoint or down the line. Um, and you just have to be smarter about them. You can also tend to fall a little more complacent the longer that you have been following one specific lifestyle for years. I mean, at this point, we're, we're in the middle of eight and a half years. <laughs> so it's, uh, it, it's been a long time on this lifestyle. So complacency is something I have to fight regularly. I'm going to go finish these chocolate electrolytes before they get too cold. And I want you to go check out this video over here that's going to tell you all about previous egg fasts I've done.